up? Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal. I do fashion and lifestyle content several times a week, and I'm really glad that you're joining me here today. Now, I know I've been putting up a lot of hauls lately, but I feel like this is just like the week of new to me haul videos. Like a lot of these companies are new. I have never heard of before. Didn't even know they carry blast, so it's been kind of cool. Um, so today I am tackling the super highly requested Lorelette. Now let me give you some teensy background on Lorelette. Basically, they just launched over the summer. They are a new plus company geared toward kind of like, you know, you're like teenage, college, early 20s, or, or you know, 20s, early 30s kind of girl. Um, they are owned by Avenue. So Avenue is actually a really, really popular, well-known plus size brand that caters to a more mature demographic. They have stores all over the place um, and so they launched Lorelette as kind of you know like Avenue's younger sister kind of thing so um, all the styles are really young they're really fun they're really trendy I feel like though <clears throat> where some companies that launch in a, in a younger demographic the um, cuts tend to be smaller so for example a 3x at forever 21 is not a 3x at Lane Bryant you know what I'm saying so there's a drastic size differentiation because um, forever 21 is designing for like a junior plus versus Lane Bryant that, that designs for like a miss plus like a woman plus I guess that's kind of the difference if that makes sense so um, I feel like with my experience with Laura Lett that they're definitely designing for a true you know, adult plus, I guess for lack of a better term. So I feel like things don't run very small. Um, I did have one pair of jeans that I am not hauling because they did not fit. Um, I got a 20 like I normally do and I found they ran really small, but they were really small in the thigh. So I don't have any feedback on their denim for you, but I do have a couple of pieces here that I'm really excited to show you. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So truth be told, this is going to be kind of a quick and dirty haul because I just have six pieces, but I feel like I just wanted to get kind of my toes dipped. Like I just wanna like dip my toe in the Lorelette water. Um, so this first piece I have to show you is a black crepe top. I've been looking for new tops. I just, I don't know why. I feel like I have pants, I have dresses, I have jackets. Why don't I have tops? I never have tops to wear. I feel like I wear this like all the time. I know you guys are like so sick of seeing this, but I'm obsessed with it. I bought it over the summer from Misguided and I just, I'm in love with it. Um, anyway, so this top from Lorelette is very light and airy. It has a V-neck. It's a little big for me. This is a size 1X. And it's a little big for me, so instead of it hanging in a v-neck, it actually kind of hangs off my shoulder, which I prefer. Um, and it has a really pretty bell sleeve. So it's not too much of a bell sleeve, but it's like a pretty bell sleeve. And then it also has a bow tie here on the side. I'm really hoping that it's pulling through on camera. Um, I love this because it's hitting so many trends. It's hitting the flowy trend, it's hitting the bell sleeve trend, and it's hitting the tie tie on the arm trend. So when I put this on, I felt like it was a little a little baggy, a little loose, but I felt like I was okay with it for the style. It, it's not a shirt that's meant to be tight. Um, so I really did like this. I do like how lightweight it is and I like how airy it is. I think this would be great if you're going to school and you need some new stuff to wear to school, to college, whatever. I also think this would be great for work. Um, I think if you have a really solid pair of like printed trousers that you like, maybe a Katie from Eloquii or something, and you're looking for a fun top to pair with, this is definitely going to be something that's going to go with so so very much. I can't imagine anyone's aesthetic that this wouldn't go with unless you're just like really not into the bell sleeve thing. Um, but this is a really really nice top and the prices are really great over at Lorelette so I would highly recommend you check this out. Now the next top runs really big and I will say that um I've got a 1X, I think, in all of the tops. I'll, I'll let you guys know. But all of my stats and all the sizes I tried on are going to be linked down in the description box. I do want to say, by the way, disclaimer, that I got this stuff like the beginning of August. And I'm just now getting around to filming this video. And it is September 23rd. So if some of the stuff that I'm trying on is out of stock, that's okay. Definitely check out their stuff anyway. I know they're doing a bunch of like new fall stuff pretty soon. Um, but I do, I will say that so far the sizing is very close to avenues. Um, so it definitely fits like a true plus size. So I would say that like I'm a 16 on top. I would say this is fits like a 16, 18, um, which is great because I think if you're a bigger size, you kind of have so few um, places to shop that Lorelette's going to be a really great option. So this next top is a dual layered uh, tank top top and it has a kind of a thicker opaque kind of poly lining and then it has a mesh lining on top which is really pretty it just adds a little bit of like airiness and floatiness to it mesh top on top here and then a ruffle that goes it gives you a little sleep so I guess it's not a tank top but it's a tank top um, a little ruffle that kind of goes over the arm so if you don't like showing your arms too much it's kind of make you feel a little bit better and it goes over the breast line and one of the things I like about this normally I'm not a big fan 
for a lot of people, especially I feel like girls that have bigger boobs are like, I don't want to, I don't want more volume here. I hear you. But because this mesh is so thin and fine, it doesn't necessarily add a lot of volume. It just kind of grazes. So it's not going to like shelf out. It's not going to like add bulk. It just adds a really pretty de design detail that draws the eye up toward the shoulders because all, that's where all the mesh is. So um, I think it's a really pretty detail. I really like this. Despite it being a little bit big, I'm definitely going to wear it because the fabric itself is so comfortable um i could see you can it's one of those shirts that you can definitely wear for hours on end and be totally fine in so i really like this you guys I think it's really cute okay so laurelette have bodysuits and you know how much i love bodysuits so i had to try it on um i really like this now i got this in a size 2x and the bottom fit perfectly like perfectly um but the top was a little big as expected because the you know it's just pear shaped in this you guys you guys know the drill um but can we talk about the color how angelic this is how beautiful this is it's so pretty super beautiful blush pink a great ruffle going across i think it just adds such a dainty aesthetic um one thing to note about this one and you'll see it kind of here at the bottom of the bodysuit, the fabric is kind of gathered. I don't know if you guys can see that seam. See how the fabric's gathered? This is meant to be a billowy bodysuit to mimic a blouse versus a super tight kind of swimsuit-esque bodysuit. So this is going to billow out a little bit more. I will say if you are someone that carries a lot of weight on top or maybe even an apple shape, you're going to love this because it does give you a lot of space on top and it is a really super stretchy fabric, which means another bonus, this is the kind of bodysuit that you can step into versus having to pull it on over your head and do that awkward movement where you're like leaning your butt out trying to like grab the tail pull it through tightly you know like it's it look that's really real that's the process of putting on a bodysuit sometimes it's not so cute um and i really like that this has enough stretch that i can just literally step into it pull it on and i'm good to go um unfortunately it is a little bit big i do love it so much that i am going to get it tailored um i would re i really like their bodysuits and also it's 39 dollars for this bodysuit and they always have sales so the price is super right now the last clothing item i have for you is this dress i have a love-hate relationship with this style of dress mainly because i have a love-hate relationship with my thighs you you can love yourself and still you know sometimes hate yourself um i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of my thighs so this dress has a really high slit on one side like it's cut asymmetrically which i love but it's cut so high on the side that for me and my comfort level i'm never going to wear anything that short as a dress booty shorts fine for some reason that works for me but a dress i don't know maybe it's because it's like just so close to you know what i mean like it's not my big thing but but I love the color of this thing. It's so gorgeous. So it is a bodycon dress. Um, I got it in a 2X, definitely too big on top. You guys will see it in the try portion. Love the cage strappy detail on the arm. I thought it was such a cool place to put it, like right on the sleeve. Color is phenomenal. It's burgundy. It's so fall. Um, and again, here's that high-low or that asymmetric cut. So it does come very high on the thigh and then goes all the way down, I wanna to say to a midi length on the other side. Now, I think if you're someone that is very, you know, a top heavy or rectangle shape and you really love your legs, you are gonna love this. I could easily wear this too with a pair of black opaque tights or maybe some thigh high boots or something and kind of give myself a little more coverage so I felt comfortable. Um, but I definitely think that there's a lot of body types that this would work for. Now before I move on to shoes, there's something I want to discuss just really quick with you guys um, about body types and clothing and why, um, you know, some things work for me and some things don't. So if you saw my Windsor haul, I'm not sure if that one's up first, but if it is, I'll link it above. Um, there are certain companies that design for certain body types. So the Windsor dresses I tried on were designed for a pear shape. Laurelette, it's very clear that they do not design for a pear shape. And that's totally fine. Look, not everyone looks the same. That's why we have different body types, right? I'm going to do a whole video on body types. I have a body type series coming. I just am in the process of moving. It's crazy. Um, but I do want to do want to mention that standardization of size um, is impossible basically frankly um and also that just because something is not designed for your body type does not mean that it's not great for someone else apple shapes in particular are one of the most underserved body types that exist and i would say that everything i've tried on if you're an apple shape will probably fit you beautifully because they do give you that room on top because they are giving you that room in the stomach um so 
just because some things don't work for me doesn't make them bad and doesn't make them less than. And also on the subject of standardization of size, which I will probably get on a high horse about this eventually. But I do want you guys to know that just because something is too big for you, too small for you, doesn't fit you, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your body. It means that that's the grading pattern for that company and it's not for your body type, but it could be for your friend's body type. So try not to wear that stuff as a personal attack because it's not. It's just they're making things for certain people and not other people and that's okay. Okay, I'm off my horse. I'm sorry, I just wanted to say that. And um, I did pick up a couple of pairs of shoes. I got this pair. These are so cute, you guys. They're adorable. They're just little brown booties, but they have, see, like, they're shiny on the toe. How cute are these little combat boots? Listen, I love a good little combat boot and um, I love a good embellished combat boot and I haven't seen one. So I really, so I'm gonna hold this close to the camera. I can't try these on for you guys because there's crap all over the floor because I'm filming six hauls today and it's just embarrassing. But rest assured these will show up on my Instagram for sure. These are just so stinking cute. If you are someone that doesn't wear heels, if you're someone that is, um, you know, more of a flats girl and you wear lots of jeans or even like, can you imagine like a t-shirt dress with these? Like these, these kicks are so cute. And if you're medium skin tone, they're almost going to be like a nude on you. So this is going to also elongate the leg, which is really, really nice. So. Loving these. I hope they're still available by the time you guys see this video. And they also came in black. So if you're more of a black girl, they have them in black too. The last item I have in this haul are another pair of shoes. This is my go-to fall shoe aesthetic. So when I saw them on the side, I was like, yes, please. I want to try these on. So by the way, both pairs of shoes are by a brand called Cloud Walkers or Avenue's brand called Cloud Walkers. I don't know why they're called Cloud Walkers, but um, it's probably because they're hella comfortable. So it's a very modest heel. This is maybe, oh, two and a half inches, two and a quarter inch. So really easy to walk in. It's a, it's a peep toe with a zipper on the side and it's a little, it's got a little bit of that kind of laser cut out. I don't know if you guys, if it'll pick up on camera. See that? Oh, you can kind of see my skin through it. So it's got that kind of like slightly see-through laser cut, which I really like. Um, these are so great. They go with everything. They go great with jeans. They go great with bodycon. They go great with basically everything that you own. Um, you can definitely wear these year-round, but for me, for fall, this is like my go-to shoe, especially when I got my toes done and I'm looking real cute. Um, I'm loving these so, so much. Okay guys, so that is it for me in this haul. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you like. And I hope that you enjoyed finding out about a new brand. You guys have been asking me about this for a long time, but you know, there's sometimes not everyone reads the comments and stuff, so you may have not known about Laurelet. So um, I, I'm really excited to see where they're going. I love when brands are new and I love to see what they do. Um, and I really think that they started out really strong. I know they have a lot of bralettes, so if you're looking for a new place to buy bralettes, definitely check them out. They have a whole different aesthetic to their bralettes, which is really, really cute. So everything is linked down below. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know about you, but I get so stoked every time I see a new brand. Like, it's like my favorite thing. So if you want to discover some new brands, check out this playlist of all of my try-on hauls. We have everything from popular brands like Boohoo and Misguided all the way down to little known brands like indie designers and stuff. So check this out. And um, there's like 40 of them now, I think. So feel free to binge watch, get some popcorn, and have a great time.